All right, here we go. We're going to take a look at the next section here on subtracting integers. We just got done rocking adding integers. Now we're going to do the same kind of stuff, just with subtraction sign in there instead. Just a friendly reminder, this is a no calculator zone. This is going to be all your big brain to get through these bad boys. Uh, make sure you know the rules here. To help you get through these, I like to think of Minecraft. You're probably like, what does Minecraft have to do here? We're going to do the large sign mod. I don't know if you have this on your Minecraft. To see things easier, we're looking for large signs. Large sign is going to win. So what does that mean? Let's take a look at some signs here. Okay, so let's go back to modeling on the number line. This just helps us really think about what is going on here. So I want to model 4 minus 7. Same thing we were doing last time. I start here at 0, and I'm going to go 4 in the positive direction, something like this. There is 4, and then I'm going to subtract 7 from it. So we were actually just doing the same problem before. 4 minus 7, so I start here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So there it is right there. There's four minus seven. So last section, you guys had done this. We would call this four. We were adding seven in the negative direction. So this is pretty huge. We said four plus a negative seven when we were adding. Well, that's the same thing. These are same samesies or twins. They're twinning right now. Uh, either way, they're the same thing. So four in the positive direction minus the seven. So you go four this way. Now we can say subtract seven. And we're going to end up where? We're going to end up here at negative 3. So we know this equals negative 3. Just like last section, this equals negative 3. Now we're going to prefer to write this top one. This is much easier for my brain to think about when I don't have this double sign in there. Awesome. So let's take it the other way. You can model with like chips, um, something like this. We have positive chips. So like I have 4. And if I want to model with chips, here are 4 in the positive direction. So here are my four positive chips in green. Chips, my chips got chips. And then, oh my gosh, I gotta do seven of the negative. So if I pull all these together so I can see them match up here. So there's uh, a couple of the red are the negative. So there is five, six. This is so exciting. Here we go. Boom, there it is. What's cool about this is now I'm thinking about Hey, the larger sign wins. So I always think of this as the larger sign wins, like two armies are fighting, let's say. And if they're fighting, what happens? Well, this positive cancels out this negative. Boom, these guys beat up each other. These guys beat up each other. These guys beat up each other. Who's going to win? The red army's going to win. Who, how much do they win by? Well, they have minus three left over. So I like to think about it. The larger sign is going to take over, take control. And that's going to be what the sign of your final answer is. If you're thinking about Minecraft, maybe because it's green and red, we've got a uh, creeper and enderman. I've got a red enderman there, like a lava enderman or something. I don't even know what that is. Uh, think of this, the creepers versus the endermen. Boom. In this case, the endermen win. Woo, winning endermen. Winderman. All right, let's try the next one. So uh, we're going to model a couple of these just to make sure we can think about what's actually happening here. So can I model negative 5? Sure thing. So I'm going to start here 0. Boom going to go to negative 5, something like this. Now we're going to subtract 3 more from that. So if I have to subtract 3 more from that, let me change the color real quick, sorry about that. And I'm going to go 3 more negatives because I'm subtracting it, I'm getting more negative. So here it is, getting more negative, something like this. My arrow got a little wonky there, let's fix that out. All right, very nice, got it right there. So what's cool about that is I went 5, then three more, so where do I end up? I end up here at negative eight. Awesome. So again, we could have said plus or minus in there, but we're just going to keep going with this subtraction sign and say, yes, this is negative eight. Can I model that? Yes. Let me grab some creepers here. That's really weird. Wait a minute. I don't have any creepers. Get him out of here. Creeper free. I've got minus five, minus three. So check this out. I've got minus, 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 minus. One more. So there's my negative 5. If I'm going to subtract 3 more from this, what's going to happen? Well, you've got more negative. I'm getting more negative. So check it out. See how these are all negatives right here. So I have no creepers. I've got 8 endermen. This is so weird. Not much of a battle here. Endermen are going to win. So what do I have right here? This is just negative 8. Something like this. So uh, this is a weird one to model because there is no positive. It's all negative. And you can see from my graph, all negative. Awesome. Do we have to do number line every time? No. The whole idea is just to help you think about it and what's actually happening. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to change double signs again. So do not like these double signs, especially when we start to solve equations and whatnot. They're really going to be a, a hassle. So 
we're not gonna do double sides. This problem right here, I, I, this problem I love because kids will get kind of flustered like, oh, I know how to do this. It's gonna be four. No way, it's negative four. Wait, it's 10. No, it's negative 10. Yes, I know it's one of these answers. Like, uh, But people kind of get freaked out and like, wait a minute, no, no, no. And they're just throwing out numbers. Don't get in that mindset. Take a second to think about it. Don't, just don't throw out numbers because you added or subtracted them. Let's think about what's happening here. And this is gonna be to help us get rid of the double sign. So you see the double sign here? I'm plussing a negative. So I don't like that. That is bad to go plus negative. What does plus negative mean? Well, it really means just subtraction. If you add a negative, you are subtracting. So that's kind of what we showed on the number line there. If you add a negative direction, it's just like seven minus three. Now, what is seven minus three? It is four. So that is a nice way to make sure you got it, you are good to go, and you have it. Awesome. Does it freak you out of the sign in front? No, shouldn't. This is the double sign because they're touching. They're right by each other, plus minus. Do not like the plus minus. So plus minus really means minus four. So negative five minus four is negative nine. Awesome. We did this last time, but remember our double sign was something like this. Three minus a negative uh, four, maybe. I just made this up. So this was my double sign, minus, minus. Remember, this can't happen because I had this keep change change thing. And so you would keep the first number three, change these signs, so it's three plus four. Well, why were we changing them? Well, if you think about minus, minus, it's like you're opposite and opposite. Like a negative four is opposite of four, and a subtraction is opposite of addition. You're opposite the opposite. So what's the opposite of up? The opposite of up is down. Well, what's the opposite of down? It's back to up. So you're back where you started. That's why it happens. It's the opposite of the opposite of up. Holy cow, that's what hurts my brain a little bit. Let's keep rolling and make sure we're good on these. So think of, if you need to, Creeper versus Enderman right here. Um, let's take a look at these. So negative five minus eight. If you want, draw a number line, get the chips out. That's cool. But if you can start to visualize, again, I usually think about money. I have negative five dollars. I lose eight more dollars. How many dollars will I have? I have negative thirteen dollars. You're getting more negative. This is all Enderman here. There are 13 Endermen. They're all in that negative direction. Versus, uh-oh, right off the bat, double sign. Got this double sign. I'm going to rewrite it. Take the second to rewrite it. Plus, minus is going to be minus 8. Now it's the same style problem. Now I can easily see, oh, it's just like the last one. I'm at negative $10. I lose 8 more dollars. I'm now at negative $18. So it just takes a little second to write it, but totally worth it. Totes worth it. All right, two minus 12. So if I've got two minus 12, you can break your chips out. But I started at a positive two, I lost 12. So the bigger sign wins. This negative 12, this minus 12 is gonna crush this. So you'll have two creepers and I've got 10 endermen left over because of that minus 12. Holy cow, I've made the endermen win every problem. I guess they're tougher. I think it's because they have arms. I think that's why they're winning. Uh, the finale, oh, there it is. This is from last section. Remember this double sign? Do not like it. So we're going to do a little keep change change. Or think about it. I just can't have double signs. Minus minus is opposite opposite. So I'm back to where I started. This is negative 3 plus 8. So again, bigger sign wins. They're going to battle. Bigger sign wins. So I have a minus 3 and a plus 8. Plus 8 is bigger, yo. So plus 8 is bigger. Minus that 3. What's going to happen? He's going to lose and be down to 5. He had 8. He lost 3 of those. He's down to 5. All right, that's it. So think about bigger sign winning the battle. Uh, take your time to rewrite everything. Good luck on the practice and the master check.